Hey guys, my name is Freedom. This is the beginner's tutorial of the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4. If today is your first day to use the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4, you want to create your 3D animations, you want to create your own 3D avatar and make them become the NPC or any of the movies, the 3D animations in your Icon 8. This is your beginner's tutorial to help you. All right. Before we start, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. The first link, this is my full playlist. The full playlist of the Icon 8 and Character Creator for Beginners Tutorial Series. I already put it into the playlist in YouTube. Then you can just click into the playlist. You can, you can play and stay in series. The number 001, number 002, etc. And you need to get all the resolution software. For example, the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4 and all its plugins to start. You can click into the second link. Then, you should be able to, to get all the software from here. Let's say get Icon 8, get Character Creator 4, get the Skin Gen plugin, get a Hitshot plugin, etc. And then to get more 3D models and contents, you can click into the Revolution Marketplace and also the Revolution Content Store. You can get from there once you click in. Right, there are so many contents that there. For example, the avatars, the motions, the three D character, the three D assets. You can get get from there if you need. And in these two places, Revolution Marketplace and also Revolution Content Store, all the three D models you get ready ready for you to create any three D animations. Then you can start it immediately. Once you're ready, once you already get the software of the Creator Creator 4 and also Icon 8, then we may start this beginner's tutorial series. Alright, first is the installations. You already install it, now we can open it. And first I'm going to show you the basic navigation and graphic user interface of the Icon 8 and Creator Creator 4. First I will open my Icon 8. I will start from here, Icon. The Icon 8.0. Once I click in, now the Icon 8 is opening. We are going to wait for a while until it finish loaded. Right now, this is the Icon 8. And then I click here, no thank you. So far, I, do, I don't sign up. Please. Right, the first what you are going to learn is the, the view different control panels. If today is your first day to touch the icon, click the window here, choose a workplace, and go to the standards. Right. Now this is the standard, the standard panels. Click the window workplace, change the panel, and later we are going to touch the animation and also you can choose the all panel as well. You have so many panels. If you you accidentally close it and don't know where to open it. You can just click plug in. Sorry, click window, workplace, all panel, begin. But so far we start from the standard. Learn from the standards. This is the standard, standard view of the workplace. Alright, the next what you are going to learn. The Ctrl G to view the grid and also Ctrl A to view the origin and assets. Right. Just use the Ctrl G buttons. You can see Ctrl A. Ctrl A you can see the world as this right there. This is the origin. And Ctrl G you can toggle toggle the grid. If you can see see the grid, it is really convenient for you. You will have the visual view of, of the locations. Where is the items? Alright, now this is the origin always remember. You can toggle it by using Ctrl A. And also you can use the Ctrl F to, to toggle the information. How much of the video RAM? This is your graphic card, your GPU. This is mine totally 8.1 GB. I it already occupied 0 0.3. Then my PC's RAM, my computer's RAM, and also my C my CPU percentage, the project of the triangle. And if it, it reach 100%, this is some, something that overheats, overload already, you better upgrade your CPU. 
and also your video RAM. Right, the information, the grid, and also use the control A to, to toggle the world axis. Right, so I will add a note here. Control, control F to view the info, the project information. All right. Now this is a three D animation software, and this is Icon Eight. It work work the same way in Character Creator Four as well. Now I'm going to open the Character Creator Four. Now Character Creator Four is loading. We are going to wait for a while until it finish loading. Now the Character Creator Four already loaded, and so I'm going to tick here. Don't show this again. But sometimes if you need. You may just un untick here and just close it because here you got other other things for me. I, I just don't want to see this. All right, this is the character creator four, and you can see it is totally empty here, same as your icons. You can use the control G to, to toggle to toggle this, what we call the grid line, and use the control A to view where is the origin. All right, this is the character creator four. And you can you can choose the workplace as well, the standard, the window workplace advanced, the window workplace. You have the visual effect as well. But so far, we are going to view it as the standard or advanced, right? That that is that is the navigate the basic navigations, right? So we are going to learn before we drag in any of the avatar into the character creator four and icons. Next, we are going going to learn how to how to view how to rotate the preview camera. Now you can see these three buttons. That is the Z, the X, Z, X, and C. If you press C, then you can rotate. If you press X, you can move the camera. Press C, you can rotate the camera. If you press Z, then you can just drag to zoom in and zoom out the camera. This is the basic navigation. All right. So here I'm going to add a note for you. Navigation using your mouse with Z, and X, and C. All right. Or you can just use your your mouse to scroll. Then you can just zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll. What about if you press the shift? If you press the shift, then you can zoom in and, and zoom out faster. All right. You can see now if I press press the shift then I can rotate very fast if I don't press the shift if I don't hold the shift it will be slower all right now X is to move you can move it slower if, if you press the shift you can move faster so the shift is just a toggling of the speed rotation also the same if you hold the shift you can rotate it very fast if you release the shift then you you will just rotate it slower. That's all. Right. Now we back to the icon. Icon will apply the same, the same as well. If you press the shift, you can make everything faster. See. If you release the shift, it will be slower. This is the basic navigation and also the graphic user interface that you are going to use. All right, we are going to pause that here first. And I will see you on next video.